The current cost of fuel-based electricity and natural gas-based heating propose big obstacles for everybody in America. According to the 2009 Energy Expenditure Per Person study, the energy expenditure ranged from $7,650 to $2,645 per year. In Massachusetts, the expenditure is above average with a $3,430 per year. The negative effects of fuel-based energy is taking its toll on the environment with more than 90% of the greenhouse gases emissions in the United States coming from the combustion of fossil fuels. Active solar heating is a method of heating solar energy that requires mechanical power, such as pumps and fans. Heat from a solar panel is transferred to a water tank, which is pumped through pipes to different parts of the house, including faucets, showers, and heaters. The cooler water is then pumped back up to the collector where it is reheated. It is a much more involved process and generates much more heat than passive systems do. Active solar heating is good for storing energy. Another cost-effective and sustainable way to provide heating and cooling to a home is through passive solar energy. Passive solar energy uses the structure as the tool for creating warm and cool air. The materials in the building are used to help circulate the air. These are two elements that need to be present in a structure that takes advantage of passive solar energy. These two elements are a transparent area of the structure that allows energy to pass through an insulation that can store the heat to be released later on. The transparent side of the house should be facing the south. This way, the optimal amount of energy from the sun can pass through. Building a structure that uses passive solar energy can greatly reduce the cost of heating and cooling since not as much energy is needed. This natural approach also helps to reduce the use of fossil fuels and natural resources. If our structures are built in this sustainable way, then we can install smaller heating units which will use less resources and energy. This is a simple solution that can be implemented in everyone's home. With the added cost savings and benefits, solar energy is an up-and-coming option for residential and commercial energy savings. Electricity costs are rising between 4 to 7 percent annually, and investing in solar panels, for example, can give your building 20 to 25 years of electricity at a reduced cost. Installation of either passive or active solar energy is flexible and can be tailored to the needs of the building. The systems require little maintenance with no ongoing costs and are very reliable and long-lasting. What a potential consumer has to remember is that it is an investment and not a cost because each option pays themselves back in just a few years depending on the size of the system. For example, an active solar energy system can capture excess energy that the property does not use and can sell it back into the electricity grid. This is added money in your pocket on top of the energy savings you are already saving. Other added bonuses are government incentives, plus potential state and local incentives as well. Consumers can receive a federal tax credit, which covers up to 30% of the installation cost. Keep in mind, solar energy does not only save you money on your electric bill, but also on your heating bill. Other benefits from choosing solar energy are an increase in property value and improved rental yields if you are a landlord. Having a property where the energy bills are reduced is guaranteed to draw more renters than a property that does not. Having a solar energy system is estimated to increase property value of up to 15 to 20 percent by some estimates. Lastly, if a corporation was to invest in solar energy, it can give them a marketing advantage edge by boosting brand or corporate image.